Wilson Brown from Black Smith and TV. Uh, Omari, what's it like coming back on the field where you first started your fame? <laughs> yes, it felt good being back on the field and, you know, particularly with Marseille's help. She made me look pretty good on that dang on field. <laughs> oh, pretty good, man. Bless, you know, bless her. Bless her for making me look so good on the field. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. You know, and Marseille, obviously, you're playing a lot of different roles on this, but mainly you're the star of the show, of the film, along with Amari. You know, so, like, what's it like now, having gone from television, you know, now doing films, and you have more to do because there's a lot of you on the page? Yeah, um, that's a good question. I mean, it's different, um, but I expected it to be different. I was kind of prepared for it. We ended Blackish November of last year, so it's officially been a year since it wrapped. And, mm. you know, it's it's weird to think about it because it's like it's a re it's a really interesting space to be in and like you know for a long time blackish was like a security blanket like I knew I was good if I had that you know <laughs> like and I think that's it for all TV shows you know as soon as they you kind of get past like okay there's a pilot now there's season one okay season two we straight we we locked in now so I think um for for television it's like you are kind of protected in a sense and you're always there and you know there's a hiatus and you know it's coming back in a sense and that was blackish for me but now since we wrapped i was like okay now what's going on what's happening you know it was uh it was a little different i had to find my footing but when we filmed this back in april it it just kind of felt you know being a producer i i wanted to, it to feel as familiar as possible so that's why we had uh anton as our director and i knew this this is a great concept for him to be a part of and i know he would bring the visions to life and you know being able to uh work with omari and uh of course kelly which i've known for a very long time and you know i just think i think i wanted it to feel different in a sense but also not too different and i think that is the beauty behind producing is that you can kind of control your environment in a sense mm -hmm. to where if you're comfortable then it will it will show on screen mm -hmm. it'll show the confidence mm -hmm. you have it will show the beautiful scenes in the way that you mm -hmm. co collaborate with somebody and i i think that is all very important so your question how i feel about it i think i think i, I feel good now i'm here i'm doing press i'm excited <laughs> and i'm it excited worked. for everyone to watch the film and yeah, yeah. it worked all right having <laughs> played having played the game you know of football, uh, but now as an actor, have you played Madden? How good are you? And have you played fantasy football where you no longer root for teams but for players? Um, great question, Wilson. And always good to see you, brother, by the way. I I definitely have played Madden. I play it at a mediocre level for sure. <laughs> I'm not on that other level. I think Rome plays it at that other level. Yeah. Um, does he? He gets it. I, in. I, I heard he's a gamer. But I, I don't think know. he gets it in. Mm -hmm. But um, I've definitely played, but no, I'm not a fantasy footballer. What I what I do is, you know, real life big brotherings to so many athletes from, and they're all fantasy favorites. You know, from Saquon to Emmanuel Sanders at one point, uh, Sony Michelle, Nick Chubb. You know, so some of the top dogs are in my wheelhouse as friends. Uh, Jalen Ramsey, you know, he's a close guy, a close friend of mine as well, and uh, becoming even closer as we build our relationship. So I definitely feel I'm more hands on in that way. I think with God having given me that life as a as a ball player and now this life as that which they could become one day, you know, if they want to. Um, and there's a couple of us who've proven that between Dwayne Johnson and Terry Crews and Omari Hardwick. And I think Brian White at some point was a ball player. You go back in the day, Burt Reynolds, as you know, played for Florida. So there's some people who have cut across the grain and made it work. And so it was nice to, to sort of amalgamate it all and look at my bag that God gifted me with and go, okay, um, boss lady is hiring me, boss lady to the left, who was 17 when she hired me, by the way. She was underage when she hired me, bro. Underage. <laughs> he said, bro. Bro, she was underage. <laughs> now she's 18. Mm -hmm. You think about that, Wilson. She was underage hiring me. You know? That's pretty amazing. So once hey. I could bring that bag to, to again, uh, Genius, which is this incredible company that she, of course, womans, and her father and, and her mother and Carol and Josh are part of it, um, and Jamila Jordan, shout out to her. It's pretty nice to get to get this shot and LeBron as a coward and Maverick and what they've done at Spring Hill. So mm -hmm. all of the things work, man. And uh, we hope that the world loves all of that, which we've put together in this movie called Fantasy Football.
It's a fun film. All of the components are working. The chemistry between the two of you are working. Let's keep it going. Let's hopefully maybe you can get another project down the road. If not, I'll be supporting as I always do. Have a good one. Thank you, Wilson. Thank you. We love you, bro. Peace, man. Take care. Well, smiles, Black Women TV. Hello, folks. How's it going? Hey. You said Wilson? Yes. Uh, pleasure to meet you, Wilson. Nice to meet you. Hey. So, Rome, I've talked to you before, but for Kelly, yeah. you know, obviously it's not that often we see you do a lot of projects. You know, what led you to say yes to this one? Just for me? Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, I mean, the script was incredible. I get an opportunity to work with uh, Marseille, Omari, Rome. It's my first time working, working with Rome. Although we didn't really get a chance to hang out as yeah. much as I wanted. This guy was like running and sprints <laughs> and sprinting and everything up and down the field. Um, but I, I love the script. I fell in love with Keisha. Um, and it was exciting to be able to tell her story. Well, one, two things. One, did you have to get into an extra shape playing a football player? And how good are you at Madden? <laughs> um, well, I didn't have a lot of time to get into crazy shape for that particular film, but I did train. Um, I trained on the on the field mainly. Uh, I didn't really try to think about the aesthetic of being in shape. I just wanted to be in playing shape, you know, which is a bit different than being aesthetically in shape. Um, it wasn't hard, you know, it took me about four weeks to really try to get dedicated to wrap my mind around playing this character and how good am I at Madden? Um, I'm pretty good. Okay. <laughs> That's it. I'm pretty good. What about, pretty what about good. you, Kelly? Have you played the game since you did this movie? Ah, uh, no. Um, uh, <laughs> the, the, <laughs> tr <laughs> the truth is, is, um, I think it's very cool to watch people just maneuver and figure out the whole approach like of playing Madden. And I'm quite intimidated. Could I possibly figure it out? Yes, I could. Um, could I possibly be great at it with a lot of practice? <laughs> <laughs> and it's the question of football, you know, one, yeah. are you guys really football fans? And if so, are the Falcons one of your teams? Kelly? <laughs> I was born in the A. The Falcons is already just going to be a part of me, period. Um, but my husband is a 49ers fan, and I try to keep the peace in my home as much as I possibly can. Um, so, yeah. So those days, it's like, 49ers, let's go Falcons. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you, Rome? Are you a player? Do you watch the games? You know, are you, are you watching the games, any games tomorrow? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm watching the game in person. I'll be at the Falcons game. So oh, that'll be fun. Um, yeah, I'm I'm a big sports guy. I love the narrative behind sports, um, like storylines. Those are the things I try to follow, uh, like where a player is going to end up. Like, uh, you know, the whole thing with Tom Brady for the past couple of years, was he, was he going to retire? Or, you know, I, I like seeing players prove uh, the media people wrong. You know, it's, it just does something for me. Like to see Lamar Jackson play super well after they said he couldn't throw. You know what I mean? And so I'm like, I, I love that, man. And, and so uh, football for me is like, it's one of those things that I only did for one year in high school, but I still feel real connected to. That brings me back to you, Kelly. You know, you're playing the the wife and mother to a football player who's past his prime in a way, but still in a game. And then he's just mentioning now about Tom Brady. Do you look at that perspective now when you see some of these players who are, who are still in a game, and you, you know, and they're competing with the younger folks? You know what? I, I think that I remember watching uh, Michael Jordan and um, I think once he said something about, um, you know, his head was ready for the game, but his body was in a different space. Mm -hmm. And I remember, of course, in the movie, like Anderson definitely picks on mm -hmm. uh, Bobby about that. But I think that um, it's it's all about will. And I think that that's why, like you said, you get behind these players and you're rooting for them. And, you know, you're hoping that in their space or orbit, um, as they're talking to themselves, like they're their biggest cheerleader. They're actually going out there. They know the condition of their body, but their mind beats it even more mm -hmm. um, because it is it is true. Like, I can only imagine what that is. I mean, even for me, I've been dancing in heels since I was 11 years old. Mm -hmm. And now dancing in heels is not as much fun as it was when I was 11, <laughs> 15, 20. Like, it's just different now. And um, I, I also like that's 
it, it's just different. You know what I mean? But you still go out there and you kill it. So do I feel for these players? Yes, but they also still have this space in their brain and their body where they go out there and they're still animals. They still beasts. They still have it in them. You know what I mean? To be great. This film was a lot of fun to watch. Obviously, people will get a kick out of it, especially when you have the NFL supporting it right away. So congrats to you both. I look forward to seeing you in your next projects. Thank Take you care. so right. much, Wilson. Good Thank you. To you. Have a good one. Wilson Morales from Black Feminine TV. Hello, Anton. How's it going? Hey, what's going on, Wilson? How you doing? Good. So obviously, when you are doing a movie and when you get the cooperation from the NFL, you know, how much liberties does that give you? And do you have the freedom to do a lot? Um, yeah, look, NFL uh, were amazing partners in this film and really, you know, supported us and allowed us to come in. And, uh, uh, you know, I wanted to make sure we did football justice. You know, I think there's there's it's a big component and there's nothing worse than than uh, to me, you know, a TV show or movie trying to do football at a professional level. And, you know, they're making up all these teams and stadiums and uniforms and the, to be able to actually utilize the Falcons and all the other teams that are all of our opponents and make it real and film at Mercedes Benz stadium. I mean, that was, that was everything. Mm -hmm. And then, then there's a the question of the game, the sport and Madden. I've never played Madden. I know a lot of people that play it. You know, how good are you at playing Madden? Ha. <laughs> um, uh, well, now that, now that the movie's done, I can say, look, I need some cheat codes. Um, but, uh, no, you know, I, I, uh, I've played Madden. I've played Madden for the last 10 years. Um, I cannot, uh, Joshua Martin, who uh, is president of Genius and also uh, Marseille Martin's father, he is an expert. So I'm afraid of him. Let me just say that. So definitely uh, calling my friends at Madden now and asking them for all the cheat codes. I don't think there are any. I don't really know. But uh, if they got them, I need them. Now, although they're acting, did you have Omari and, and Rome go through some physical uh, regiments to get in shape to play these football players? Um, you know, Omari and Rome keep themselves in excellent physical condition uh, uh, year round, I believe, you know, just as a lifestyle. So, you know, and they, they both have played football in, you know, in real life. Um, uh, they both played running backs. Um, and I did not even know that when I when when, you know, Amari was brought on. Uh, he was already attached to this when I came on board. Uh, Rome, we, we, we brought in. But uh, did not know either one of them had played football. So it was just like an added bonus. And I will say they left it on the field. I mean, they put in work. Um, we really worked hard to make the football feel real. And, uh, man, they, they did not ever skimp. They were there for it. Now, obviously, Marseille's, you know, been around TV a long time. She's done some films. You know, you're now directing her. What do you what do you see in her skill set that you maybe improved on or that you know that you learned from her from watching her? Um Marseille and I've worked together now for 10 years. Um so you know I've I've directed I think more episodes of Blackish than anyone else, um, which you know I'm I'm very proud of. And watching her, you know, she was phenomenal from the very beginning as a nine-year-old, her comedic timing, um, her ability to convey so much with just a look. And I've watched her grow and grow and continue to hone her skills. And she's just a pleasure to work with because, you know, she won over overall, you know, she's a producer on the movie as well. Um, so she understood the film from the very beginning and being able to have someone who understands the tone and the character. And then it just takes adjustments you know it, it, it's it's there's not a lot of heavy lifting for me on that part because it just takes some fine tuning here and there and she's so great at making those uh those subtle little changes that that really allow the audience to lock into the character mm -hmm. congrats on the film let's see what we can get from you next keep it make it happen we'll be there to support appreciate you thank you take care